Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about the follow set and first set in compiler design. So first of all, let us know uh, the importance and why we are uh, finding the first and follows and where it will be used. So here, the, the first and follow sets are used in lexical analysis fields. And the first and follow sets are used by the parser to apply the correct production rule and before calculating the first and follow set make sure that the grammar doesn't have the left recursion so if there is any left recursion in our grammar first we need to remove the left recursion and then we need to calculate the first and follow set so let us see the steps to be followed to calculate the first set and here consider alpha as terminal and beta as non-terminal non-terminal right so if if the production is in the form x tends to epsilon then the first of x the first of x will be only the epsilon and if the production is in the form x tends to alpha that means only terminal only terminal then the first of x will also be the terminal itself, only the terminal, alpha. And if x tends to alpha followed by beta 1, beta 2, that means uh, non-terminals, terminal followed by the non-terminals, then also the first of x will be the terminal itself, right? And if the production is in the format of x tends to beta 1 and beta 2 that means the set of only non-terminals set of only non-terminals then the first of x will be the first of beta 1 the first of beta 1 if it doesn't have epsilon if it doesn't have any epsilon then only the beta 1 the first of beta 1 will be the first of x and if there is an epsilon so first of x right so then the first of uh, beta 1 without epsilon without epsilon union and first of all the remaining so beta 2 beta 3 and so on right so you have to repeat the same process you have to repeat the same process until you get the first of last that means without the epsilon without the epsilon so don't worry so we'll see a few examples so that uh, if you are having any still uh, doubts that will be clarified so just remember this one so x of epsilon then the first of x will be the epsilon and x of terminal then first of x will be the terminal and if the production is in the format of x tends to alpha bit 1 beta 2 that means a terminal followed by any, any number of non terminals or terminals then the first of x will be the terminal itself and here if the x tends to non terminal set of non terminals then first of x will be the first of uh, non terminal 1 if it doesn't have the epsilon if it is having the epsilon then you have to consider the first of beta 1 without epsilon union first of all the remaining non terminals again you need to repeat, repeat the same step okay so repeat same for this particular this one that that means you, again you need to find the set of non terminals first of first of set of non terminals again repeat the same process right now we'll take one example and we'll solve so let us take this example s tends to a b d h b tends to c c c tends to b c and epsilon this is a, these are the two productions for c and e is also having two productions one is g and epsilon f is having two productions f and epsilon now first we need to write first of yes we need to find first of yes and similarly first of b similarly first of c and first of d let us write all the things which we need to find out first of e and first of f we need to find all these things for this particular grammar first let us know uh, whether this grammar is of uh, left recursion left recursion means whatever the non-terminal on the right hand side uh, the left hand side production 
should start with that particular symbol. So here we are not having any left recursion, right? So we are not having any left recursion. So directly we can find out the first. So let us see this one E and F. So these are the individual productions. So E tends to non-terminal, F tends to non sorry, E tends to terminal and F tends to terminal and E tends to epsilon and F tends to epsilon. Now you can say, so see if X tends to epsilon, the first of X is epsilon. If X tends to a terminal, then first of X is terminal. So apply the same thing. So F of E is equal to G comma epsilon because these are the two productions for E. So one production is E to G, another production is for E to epsilon. So we need to consider this one and consider F. So F tends to F and F tends to epsilon. So one is a terminal, another one is an epsilon. So simply you can write F and epsilon. And now you can see C tends to BC and epsilon. So C tends to BC. Here it is a terminal followed by the set of non-terminals. Now, so we can simply say the first of C can be B and epsilon because C is also having two productions BC and epsilon. C tends to epsilon. So first of C will be having epsilon and C tends to BC. That means in the previous thing we have observed that if X tends to alpha, beta 1, beta 2, that means it's the production starts with the terminal followed by the non-terminals, then the first of X will be the terminal itself. So a B followed by a non-terminal. Non so we can simply write it as a B. And here you can see it is also a terminal followed by a non-terminal. So simply we can say it as a C, small c, okay. And here coming to the yes, here also a non-terminal, sorry, terminal followed by the non-terminals. So simply we can say it as A. Coming to the D, so D is having two non-terminals, E and F. So what, ha what we have to do, the first of E, the first of E, right? So whether it is having epsilon or not, you can check. E is having epsilon, right? So we need to consider first of E without epsilon, without epsilon union, union first of F. So simply you can say E tend E F means first E is, e is having the terminal. So G apply the G and it is having epsilon. So apply epsilon on in place of E. So it, it has been gone. So the production is only F. Now we need to find the production for F, right? So what is the production for F? It's a first of F. It's a first of F. First of F means F comma epsilon. So F comma epsilon. So these are the first for given following grammars, right? Now we'll see one more, one more example. Here you can observe the example S tends to A, A tends to AB and AD and B tends to B. So first let us check whether it is having a left recursion. So this production is having the left recursion. A tends to AD. A tends to AD. So this is having left recursion. So we need to remove the left recursion. So uh, I have already uploaded the video how to remove the left recursion. I will post the link in the description section. You can just follow that one. So after removing the left recursion, the productions will be like this. Right. Now find out the first. First of yes and first of a, first of a dash and first of b. Now coming to here b. So B is having only terminal. So first of B will be a B. And coming to the A dash. So it is terminal followed by the non-terminal and epsilon. So simply you can write it as a D comma epsilon. And A, first of A. So here also it starts with the terminal, right? It starts with the terminal. So we can simply use A. And yes tends to A, only one non-terminal is here, so we can simply write it as first of A, right? Yes, it is first of A, so first of A is A. So this is a first set for all these productions, right? So let us take one more example here, uh, consider this one and uh, first of all find out whether it is having the left recursion or not. So here in this we are not having any left recursions, right? So we are not having the left recursion. So find out the first. So first of a yes and we need to find first of L and we need to find first of L dash, first of L dash. So coming to the yes, 
we are having this is a term non i mean terminal right other than the uppercase letters everything will be the terminal so parenthesis is a terminal right terminal followed by the non terminals so obviously it will be left parenthesis and a it's a terminal so we can simply write it as a and coming to the l coming to the l so first let us fill with the l dash l dash is also having a terminal followed by the uh, non terminals so comma comma and uh, epsilon comma and epsilon now let us consider the first of l so first of l is yes so yes whether whether uh, observe yes is having the epsilon or not if it is doesn't have the epsilon simply the first of yes will be the first of l so here yes doesn't have any epsilon first of yes doesn't have any epsilon so simply you can say the first of l yes will be the first of l so this is how we can find the first first right so once again i will repeat the steps so let us let us assume that alpha is a terminal and beta is a non terminal if the productions are in the form of x tends to epsilon then the first of x will be the epsilon and x tends to a terminal then the first of x will be the terminal and x tends to terminal followed by the non terminals then also the first of x will be the terminal and if the production is of the form x tends to a set of non terminals then uh, consider the first of x will be the first of beta 1 if it doesn't have the epsilon if it having the epsilon then first of x will be the first of beta 1 without epsilon and union the first of all the remaining things and repeat the process same process until it doesn't have the epsilon right so this is the procedure to find out the first set so hope you understood how to find the first so let's stop here and if you are having any doubt regarding this calculation of first set feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much